What's up guys, welcome back, I'm F and Hate It, and this is the new Gun Raiders update. Now they added quite a few new things on here, some different alt versions for some guns. They also added an alt version for the sniper weapon, but more importantly, they made a custom weapon wheel. Finally, you can customize your weapon wheel. Also, they did some shit to the levels, so you can't browse levels now, but I will show you how you can get to places you need to be. All right, so loading in right away, you're presented with your locker. There is the loadout right here. So we're gonna work on this weapon wheel. This is where you customize the weapon wheel. So like, I don't use the shotgun. The shotgun can like come over here, right? Can I just like move it over here? Yeah, there you go. So you just click drag. So I'm gonna put Uzis in its place. The minigun can come down here with the dual pistols. Pistols can get over here. I kept the weapons that I use the most here. And I also left the ones that my go-to's are always these two right here. So I want to make sure they are the same because muscle memory will be getting the best of me. But that is how you customize the weapon wheel. So now whenever I go into it, let's check it. Whenever I go into the weapon wheel, boom, there it is. You hit trigger to get to your second weapon wheel. I don't know how many people don't know that, but now you know. So they're giving away 300 Raider coins. You just got to go collect them real quick. Let's go over there and collect these bad boys. Right over here by the coin packs, your free stuff. So let's get our Raider coins. Look, it's a little heart. I got my heart. Yes. Remember, Gun Raiders hearts you. Excuse me, miss. Will you accept my heart? Well, fuck you! No. <laughs> I kind of like this character, though. Not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna take this character, too. Give me this character. That's right. Effin got a new character. Another thing they did was raise the cap of players from 10 to 14, only in the hub. N more maps will be coming with this. I, I have a big prediction that Silo is going to get the next bump for sure. Silo is in need, detrimentally in need of more players. That thing's one big hide and seek fest. It sucks. But yes, the hub max players increased from 10 to 14. So now it can be like a 7v7. So we have new alt modes that have been added. The katana is one of them. I can't draw my katana here. That sucks. Hold on. Let me come over here now. Yes, there we go. The katana. So you get spirit right here. It heals you, I guess, but it also has a new alt mode. We're going to go feed this guy real quick so we can check out this new alt mode. I told you I needed to feed it. Double kill. <laughs> I need to feed it. I have been fed. So you just press the trigger now on it. Either hand. Nope, just that one. It has to be right handed. So what about... Okay, so you can switch. With alt mode. With the alt mode you can switch. You can do damage now, too. Excuse you, sir. You're in my way. You just made it in my video, by the way. <laughs> All right. So we got the slash for extra damage, or you got the heal mode, so you can heal yourself, which is pretty nice. Where'd you go? We fed him. Slash mode, and you hold trigger to use it. So like, I wasn't even using it. <laughs> we gotta figure out what kind of buff we got here. But I mean, two-handed is already doing some damage. So I, I guess I could've just went to the, um, to the shooting range, maybe. What was that? I didn't even get to read it. 300 something, I think, though. He's gone. <laughs> Whoever it is, they are gone. So another thing that was added was to the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle now has a semi-automatic mode. Not to be confused with burst. When I read the patch notes, honestly, I confused it with burst. So it's not a burst. It's just you can quickly fire it right here. It's a quick fire. So your damage goes down with it, though. G Hello? Hi. I tried to Pavlov that shit. You have to grab everything in Pavlov with a trigger. That is not what you use, developer. 100 to the body in normal mode. And 100 to the head in alt mode. So with that in mind, I want to go to the, uh, 
shooting range. But the problem is you can't just jump into a shooting range now. You can't create a shooting range. You gotta, you gotta join, create here. You can launch a new game or join an existing one. You can join with the room code here or create a room. In order to create a room, it's just the existing levels. I can't even go into the shooting range anymore. So I assume it's gonna be back here, but this is how you can just uh, jump into one. You can drop a portal for other people to join, make it a private room, hardcore. Assume if you want to create a portal so people can, you know, join you here anyways. Just create a lobby and then, you know, it just starts getting populated in. Over here, they're all spheres now, which is awesome. I like the sphere look to these. Normal mode is over here. Hardcore is over here. That didn't change. What changed was this hallway of spheres here. On one side is normal, so you can just jump in and I guess it auto creates a level for you, right? You just jump in and bow, you're into SkyTrain, Station, Depot, Cargo, Club, Fort, Silo, Yard. And then right here is your hardcore. This is awesome. You want hardcore. That's the one you want right there. So to get to these, you can go from the shop right through here, or you can come from the spawn point right over there. I can't ping anymore because that's been gone, but yeah. It is right behind you when you load in. Like, literally, this is the wall I was staring at for the patch notes. Another thing it took care of was that nasty reload for the shotgun. Finally, right? Now you don't have to use the trigger. A lot of people always ask, how do you reload the shotgun? Well, not, not anymore. You just cock it, go. Well, shit, that might become a weapon I actually do use again. They also improved it a little. They gave it a little bit of a buff. Uh, where is it? Spread and recoil has been reduced on the shotgun, so that's nice. Also, revolver buff with the recoil being reduced as well. Also, remember people were glitching into the walls. Zero to the max. <clears throat> now, if you glitch into the walls, it just automatically kills you. So they say, I do know a spot where I can go test this out. But players walking inside of walls now will be killed. A handful of main menu options have moved to the pause menu. Also, yeah, if friends can't see you, ensure your Oculus privacy settings allow friends to see your activity, just in case. So yeah, like right here, I could always jump into a couple of these people. Free for all is full. I can join College Debt. He's in a private game. I can join him. That's the update. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check out my new guy here. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to make his way into some uh, thumbnails for sure. Don't forget to jump in, get your 300 Raider coins, and I'll see you next time. Peace out till then. Yeah.